Hi there, this video is intended for adults who like to craft. Hey guys, Linda here. Oh boy, I tried making a video yesterday and like two or three times. My camera kept telling me I didn't have room, so I spent most of the day deleting so much stuff on my computer, hoping that that'll free up my phone. But one of the things, what I'm trying to do is organize my bookmaking stuff so I have it kind of consolidated. So one of the things I did was I took this big container and I, I organized all my paper. Like I have Rolodex cards, things I want to use. A lot of H&S green stamp, book pages, vintage paper. Um, started signatures, painted paper, folded paper, graph paper, line paper, and um, yeah, line paper. So, oh, this is making Christmas books too, <laughs> for making Christmas books. But, you know, that's only the beginning of it. So, while I was working on that, I found that I had cut a bunch of paper for books and I thought what am I gonna do with that so I had all this paper and more all cut well it wasn't cut quite enough for what I thought I was gonna do a friend of mine gave me a whole bunch of CD covers cases or whatever the paper part of them and I thought okay I'm just gonna take all that paper and make it into books so one of the books would be this Peanuts book, or Peanuts um, DVD. And what I did is I <laughs> cut the cover and I added this little measuring tape because, it, I don't know, it just needed something. And it might get more. And then I cut all the papers to fit in that you know, size. Oh, the back, the back had an open square, so I made a little tag and put Charlie Brown in there because I had two Charlie Brown CDs or cases, whatever these cardboard things are, sleeves, I guess. So that's the start of it. It's going to be put in um, that, this kind of binding because, um, I have a lot of these two that are taking up space and I just wanna use this stuff. Well, when I was cutting this down, I had a ton of pieces of paper like this. So what I did is I took some of these folders that I had and I just covered them with that paper. And then I took that paper and cut it out and put it on the other side of these so they're kind of collaged then I also cut some into tag shapes I still have more <laughs> and then I'm backing them with paper that you know like a journaling card these two haven't been done yet but um, that's what I've been doing it's really taken a lot of time and it's not, I don't feel like anything's getting done, but I thought what I would do now is my fourth prompt in my journal. So that, again, was prompt number one, and then this was two and three, and now I'm going to do number four. And the directions for number four are at the bottom of this one over, over here. So it says, I should have numbers, graph paper, line paper, an art scrap. I'm not really sure what they mean by an art scrap. A book page or portion, an old sticky note, and instructions. Well, I thought this book page would be good. I um, had gotten this big old dictionary a while ago. I split it with a friend because it was huge. And I thought, oh, this will be great because... Look how big that page is. Well, this is so fragile that, you know, even I, I had folded it and made it into different pockets, but look what happens when you fold it. It just cracks. It's so 
so old. So, I mean, you can't see the crack now, but you can see it there. And so then I feel like I have to put washi tape all around it. But it's great for um, tearing up and it would be good to um, collage on too because that would make it a little sturdier. So that would I might do some, try some tissue paper on it and see if I with Maj Posh and see if I can get that to work better. But for now, I'm going to use it for um, this. I'm putting it here to cover up that light. <laughs> so I'm going to use it as my background for here. And I don't have to worry about it because this is my my uh, book. Let's see now. Um, I'm probably going to want to go right up to the edge of that to where it folds. And I think that's going to be my whole background. I'm going to find my tear ruler. So the reason I'm, <laughs> I'm doing all that with my room is because I want to decide if I need to get that Tim Holtz cart or not. I really don't have any room in this <laughs> art room for any more furniture. I have a four foot table on one side that I really thinking maybe I need to um, get some of those cubicle shelves, you know, the ones with the cubes in it. Uh, or a shelf that, I don't know if I want one. Well, I like things that move. I like things on wheels just because then I know when I want to clean or whatever, I can I can move it. And I have a couple more pieces of furniture in this room that really need wheels. Um, but... That's a whole nother project, isn't it? So I think I'm gonna make this be my whole background, my book page, because it's just a good thing to do with this paper. <laughs> so this seems to be holding on really good to this shiny paper. That's why I decided to do those, um, you know, collaging on it today, because I thought, well, that would work with this good old Elmer's craft glue. I might need to order some more. So um, let me know, you, you people that are using Yupu, whatever it is, <laughs> um, versus like, you know, Elmer's craft bond or, you know, this one is a little softer and gooier and I, I noticed Roxy was, kind of complaining about one that you really didn't like because it was too, like, gooey. And um, I thought, well, maybe maybe that's what this is. I don't know if it's too gooey or not. It's, it's kind of wet. But I haven't... I guess I should just try the other one. Now I can't find my little card for gluing. One. It's got a bunny rabbit on it. That's from PETA. <laughs> oh boy. So we had a big snowstorm last night. It was pretty cool. A lot of schools got closed. I still get excited about school closings. <laughs> All right, so then this is directions. Kind of canon. I had a little canon printer. And I gave it to St. Vinny's quite a while ago, so I still have the directions. I think just one, two, three would be good to do. Why am I doing this? Where's my ruler again? try this side. I hardly ever, I never use this side. Ooh, that's a little harder to do. <laughs> yeah, that's good though. Let's do it here. Kind of okay. I'm going to put it square up against there. 
Right now, I gotta remember that I like to have a pocket. Okay, so then here is my artwork or whatever it is. Yeah, an art scrap. I don't know. This is Noah Webster. <laughs> I, it was from this book, I think. And then this is an old post it sticker, old sticky note. So it's an old one. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Some of the things are kind of hard. So, yeah, he could be a pocket, couldn't he? Um, I need a pocket for my directions. See, now I have all these scraps again that I'm going to want to use. Now, where are the, oh, the pockets down here? these directions. Oh boy, did it glue itself in there? Oh, I glued another stamp on there. <laughs> All right, there we go. There it is. Okay, so this old paper, oh, it tears so good. I didn't, you know, I had a hard time with that, an art scrap. I didn't know if that meant like my collage papers or, you know, a picture of somebody like this. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tear it off here, but I'm still gonna use this. He can go up there. Because this has got numbers on it. All right, so we got our directions. Oh, we got to ink. I want to ink it. Uh, a mess on my desk. Every day I clean it off, and then every day it gets messy again. But I wouldn't be able to even start <laughs> if I didn't have it cleaned off. Okay, so we want to make this look kind of old too because everything else is looking old. Ooh. laid out here. That and then these authors over here. This was some graph paper. I got lots of numbers. I got these stickers. Lots of stickers. I lost the directions again. the directions go. Oh, here they are. Look, they're stuck to the back of this. I would have never found them. All right, so numbers, graph paper. Here's the graph paper, the art, the book page, a sticky note, and instructions were was a bonus. So that's good. Look, I didn't even have to ink that. Oh, here's another number. This is off a of children's um, pattern, child size four, and the it was a little girl's dress. I'm going to use her on my color thing. So, I think what I'll do, I'm going to put this down. This was actually the bonus. Get my gluing book out here. I have this big old catalog. It's from um, Uniline. Uniline. I ordered tape from them a couple of times and so now I get this enormous catalog. <laughs> and it, it's fine. I can, I like to look through it, but then when you glue it's nice because then you can just tear the page off. So that's so I think I want this up here. Oops. 
this is really fragile to this um, pattern. Number, oh boy, okay. All these, uh, all these uh, challenges or whatever that I'm doing are so much fun. I love this. This, you know, just gluing down paper. Ugh, I just love it. <laughs> but, um, it, you know, using all these things brings back, well, memories maybe when I used the particular paper or so many different things. Um, like that stitching one really reminded me of when I would do artwork with my aunts and grandmother and all that stuff. This just seems so, so... <laughs> Maybe I should put him up at the top because, but I really don't like how white he is. How clean and new, so... I mean, post-its aren't that old, I don't think. Um, when I was teaching, one of the ladies I taught with had, somehow had stock, I think in 3M or something like that, or somebody, an uncle worked for him, or so, and she got the first post-it notes we ever saw. This was when I first started teaching, so it would have been the late 70s, so I... I I think that's, they're only that old, but, <laughs> but then I say only that old, and mm, it is antique. If it's over 20 years old, everything's antique. No, I don't know if everything is. I like that better. Messed up like that. All right, you need glue on you. And I didn't know if, you know, she wanted to post it with writing on it. I think I have some of that around here too. One of the teachers I used to teach with, she, well, I got a birthday card from her too and she can write so tiny. So she could take little post-its like these and put like a paragraph on them. Oh, we'd all tease her, like, we're supposed to read this? I don't like the way this white... Sh oh, well, I can just ink that. I'll just ink it. Instead of trying... Tearing off that little tiny bit is just too hard. Been pretty cold here too lately. I haven't been walking. I feel kind of guilty, but it's kind of nice to have an excuse to um, stay in. So this this is better graph paper, isn't it? just want to make sure I can make a pocket for the instructions. So they're going to have to go on a tag or something. I think what I'll do I'll tear these two. When I was collaging those sheets with just my scraps, I really wasn't giving it much thought. I was just putting down the glue and filling up the page. And then now I have those and a big container full of stuff <laughs> to decorate them with. I have two of those suitcases that hold the um, photo boxes. And, you know, I never get that stuff out. 
I don't, uh, I don't understand why. It just, I forget that I have it. So that's what's going to be good about doing these, these things is that I'm going to get that stuff out and use it. didn't make it. I felt so bad for the team. They worked pretty hard this year. Yeah, I want to make sure I leave room for that. So we're going to use the rest of this stuff. And then all these numbers. Oh, Mr. Weber, Webster's name is going to go Okay, the camera went off again. Um, I deleted all that stuff, but I didn't turn my phone off and turn it back on again. So now I'm hoping, just hoping, I have my fingers crossed. I was talking about how, what I was doing the last couple of days, and I have been trying to flatten out my plates for my big shot to show you what happened the first time. Now this I did like three months ago. This was my first attempt. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot it. I forgot what I was doing. Well then, yesterday I looked up a video and found out that, you know, you can put it in the oven, wrapped in tin foil on 170 for 20 to 30 minutes. So I did that and I had my watch, I had my timer, I kept timing it and I kept checking it. It didn't make any difference at all. And then after, I, and I used my Pamper Chef stone because that's heavy, a big a container with water on top of that while it was heating. And then I took it and put cardboard down on the floor, the um, Pampered Chef stone, the plate, let's see if I have it here. Well, yeah, the plate, this is the plate. Look, I don't know if you can see how curved it is. Here, I'll rock it. Okay, so a stone, plate, another stone, and my container of cat litter. The really heavy cat litter thing. Nothing, no change. So today I tried it at 180 degrees. No change. Anyway, so I was putting Mr. Weber down here and um, I made a tag for the directions for what you're supposed to have on it and I just took one of those um, pieces that I, I think I showed earlier of the tags I was making out of the collage thing and then I backed it with the, more of that book page, put the directions on it, put a grommet on it, I'll put a um, ribbon or something on there later. This sticker with numbers is from that Tim Holtz thing, and I have a lot of Tim Holtz stuff. Look at that, it's not sticking. And, um, but I wanted to keep this one because it says Pennsylvania, and that's where I grew up and I'm from, and my family. I only have my brother and sister left as far as family, and they're in Pennsylvania. So, oh, I, I think I was telling you too about my grandmother and her gadgets but just that my brother and I were talking and he said oh you're just like your grandmother <laughs> with all the gadgets the hardware guy used to call my grandmother when something new would come in because he knew she'd buy it okay so that's going to go in there um Oh, I better get it out so I know. Oh, I know. I have to put some graph paper. Oh, I have graph paper on. Let's see. Let's see if we have everything. We have numbers. Here's some more numbers. Graph paper. Art scrap. Book page. Um, a sticky note. Okay, I'm trying one last time. The phone went off again. So I turned off both the phone and the computer and hopefully it'll work. All right, so I just want to finish up. Here's page four. Um, 
I have a tag with some numbers. I kept it because it says Pennsylvania. And then this has the um, things that were required, the numbers, graph paper, art scrap, book page, which is the whole back of it, um, sticky note, and instructions, which are right there. So this is the way my page looks. I don't know how much is even recorded, but I had fun doing it anyway. So thank you for watching, and I hope you're having a great day and not having as much trouble with your iPhone and storage and all that stuff that makes me crazy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.